Well, hello there. This is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Parksville, Vancouver Island, BC. And I'm excited to be with you here tonight for Create With Me. And if you saw my earlier post, I had posted this picture here where you can see all the different colors. And it doesn't have to be color. I call it color one or color two so that uh, you can choose whatever colors you like to do at home, as well as I've got the measurements on here as well. So if you'd like to create with me tonight, that's what we're going to do tonight. And if not, you're welcome, of course, to watch along with me. And, and there's Rondi. Hello, Rondi. Nice to see you here. Perfect. And yes, we're going to make a card tonight using all these different pieces. So I am going to pick these all up. And if you're going to create with me, um, we'll do that. I'm just going to get these guys all moved out of the way for now. And I'm going to show you um, the card that, so what I do is I usually go to my, well, I get it, I all different ideas, but I like to use my template file. And it's uh, cards that I've made or people have made for me. And uh, then I just try to uh, save these different templates so that I can recreate them at a different time. And so this is actually a card that I made actually before I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I always attended uh, classes with other demonstrators and this one was through Karen here. And um, yes, we made this lovely card. And of course it's a retired product, but I absolutely love the idea and of course how well it turned out with um, this beautiful leaf. But we're not gonna use the leaf tonight. So we're going to use the same pattern. So all these different pieces of paper, you like that? Yeah, I love it too. So we're going to use all these different sizes of paper. But tonight, the stamp set that, and um, I don't think I'm going to use dies. It's a stamp set that I'm going to use. Oops, I guess you can see the title. It's called Beauty of the Deep. Of course, one of my favorites, Ocean. What can we say? So we're going to use this one tonight uh, for our card. And so what we want to do here, we don't, you don't have to have a twine or ribbon, but that's what we did use on this particular one. So I'm going to get out my silicone mat. Oh, there's Carly. Hello, Carly. Yeah, the stamp sets me. I know. I love anything with ocean. That's right. <laughs> so this particular one is two pieces of the white cardstock, which is two inches by two inches, and you need two of them. And then the other one that we're gonna need for stamping is this piece here, which is two and a quarter inches by three and three quarter. So we're gonna take that off because these are the ones that we are going to stamp. So let's just bring in my card that I used as our sample here. So instead of the leaf, what I thought would look really nice is a few different ones. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the coral and I am going to use the anchor as my focus here on this card here. So let's get going. We're going to, I think I'm going to use the bigger block for this one. We're going to put that on there. And I'm just going to test. So especially if you're not sure how it's going to look, that's why it's great to be able to work on some grid paper or paper that you can just uh, try it out. Because sometimes you'll want full strength and sometimes you may not. And you can see that's quite a bit lighter. So if I look at the fact that I'm going to have a little square, am I going to just put a bunch of different coral like that? Ooh, no, definitely not. No. Nope. So this is where you can, before you do it on the paper, you can kind of decide. So I kind of like this approach. So I'm thinking that maybe even three, just so to get a kind of an idea on there. So what I'm going to do, oops, we can keep it on the silicone mat now. But I don't, Yes, this one I'm going to do in coral. It's the anchor that I'm going to do in Night of Navy. So I'm going to take my coral. 
them see how I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm going to take this and kind of start off. Whoops, it's sticking here. And then maybe one a little further up. So there we have kind of three different, um, can you see it there? The stamped on and then the stamp. It's not so easy to see on there. Sorry, the lighting, oh, maybe that's even better right on there that you can see it. So we're going to do kind of the same thing. So again, we're going to stamp it and then off and then one more time. So now we got those two. I'm just going to clean. So I like my chamois and you've got to keep them wet, which is a little harder in the nice weather because they do dry out. But just put some water on it and it cleans or it's wonderful. Now this looks very dirty, but don't worry. It has been cleaned and you see how it doesn't transfer to my, my hand because they wash out really nicely. Okay, so we got our two designs right there. Now we're going to take this design. And I forgot a sentiment. That's what I forgot. What sentiment are we going to put on there? Let's see. Oh boy, decisions, decisions. What should we put on there, ladies? Huh? Let's see. I've got a few here. Nope. There's an ocean one. Oh, how about this one? Thank you for everything. That's a nice one. Where was that one? Is that that one? Thank you for everything. Let's try that. And this time I want to use the night and 80 because that is the color of my card base. So this was color, color one, uh, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And of course that's what's scored in half. That is our card base. Okay. And I need a block. Do you need a card for anything? <laughs> I always need thank yous. That's right. That's why this is my go-to is using a thank you card. I like thinking of you too. But yes, definitely a little bit of both. But I like this font on this one. So, And I think that will fit in there really, really nice. And do I want to put it on the top or the bottom? Because I am going to use the anchor... I think I'm going to put the sentiment on the top. So, oops, bang my head into the camera. That's not good. Let's see if I can get this straight. Pretty good. Okay. So now we're going to put this away over here for a minute. Let's close up the coral. Okay. Now I asked you to also have a piece of scrap paper. So we're going to take this piece of scrap paper and... We are going to echo. We got our night and navy versus anchor. We need a block. Uh, let's put that one on this one. We need something a little bit bigger. And look at this. This is so amazing. This anchor, the detail on this anchor. Do you see it? Isn't that amazing? I just love it. So we are going, and I forgot, oh boy, I forgot my cut and emboss. Come back over here. <laughs> Let's grab my emboss. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's my platform. So on the mini, it's a little bit different because you have a much smaller machine, and so the platform Form, of course is a little bit smaller but that's okay it works so again just like our cut and emboss here is one and we're going to put our bottom plate so we need a plate two and the other plate two on the mini it's a little bit different in the uh with the big one you're going to use two threes but with the mini what am i looking for the anchor we need to use, and I don't have any mossy tape here. So we're going to have to be really careful. So you want to line that up. And then you're going to take the top plate 
and I like to push it in a little bit and then just go straight down so that it doesn't slide on you. Okay, and run it through. And then we have it. Oh, look at that. Turned out perfect. Yay. Even without washi tape. Look at that. Excellent. Okay, so now if I can pick this up, this is where we're going to put our anchor. So in this card, I should show you here, this card, she wrapped it around. So the first thing actually we should do is take our navy piece. No, not navy. This one's a coral. So this is the Calypso coral, four inches by two and a half. And it is just the right size to be able to mount this so that you have a little bit of a border. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to put this on here. Oops, on here. Ah, oh, look at that. I was just thinking that. Did I have some color on there? Okay, before I do that, oh, oh, we might have to do it again. But we've got one chance. Let's see if we can erase it. Otherwise, we're going to have to. I always forget. That's why I have the white right beside me. Uh, is it going to work, ladies? Ocean theme is perfect. Yes, I know. Especially for our Alberta weather, friends that have the terrible weather. They're very jealous of us when we've got all these beautiful beachy pictures and nice weather. <laughs> all right. So let's try this again. Now, this time I'm going to move the silicone mat. So now we're going to put this in here like this. And as you can see with this one, what she did have had us do is we had to wrap. So you would put a piece, if you were doing something like this, you would put it underneath and then you would wrap it several times. But because I have the anchor, I'm back here. You see how the anchor has a little hole? Well, what I'm going to do, I probably don't need as big of a piece, but I am going to take a piece like this and snip it and put that over there. And now what I'm going to do is thread this through that little hole. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? There we go. Okay, and actually I'm just going to thread it through just like this, a macrame knot. There we go, nice and tight. There we go. All right, so now we're going to cut that off because we certainly don't need that very long. Oh, and I throw it. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm having trouble here. Actually, you know what I think I would do is I would probably do that one more time. Let's see. See how thick as I go along here. Because even though you have your basic template, you know, depending on what stamp set or dies you use, of course, you can um, create the same, same template. So we don't have to do a lot of thinking and creating, but then we can just customize it. And because we wanted to do the anchor, there we go. So now I'm going to trim that. And then that will leave it a little bit more bulky. There we go. Okay. So now I want to pop that up on dimensionals. And I think I'm going to have to use the minis for those ones. Hi, Suzanne. It's so nice that you can join us tonight. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put this on here. Just like that. And of course, we've got to take the the bottoms of the dimensionals off. Oops, that one didn't come off. Come on. Throw it in my garbage. Okay, and now we're just going to... So the other thing you could do, actually I think I am going to do it. I'm going to put some... I should have done that before. But you know, I think I'm still going to do it. I'm going to take my anchor off. Where is my coral? Right here. And... 
I'm not going to do full strength. I'm just going to do this like that. Just so I have a little bit of orange still on there. Or clips of coral. Okay, and then we're going to put this on here. Just like that. There goes the anchor. Marilyn! <laughs> I know. We all love our nautical, don't we, Marilyn? Hey? Okay. And so here is our color one. So these are two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So again, this is why we have the perfect square that's going to fit those exactly. So we're just going to put adhesive on the back of the white. Oops, as it burps out of here. So just put a little bit of adhesive and we're going to put that so we have the same border all the way around. And same with our other one. These stamps are so beautiful because they're so realistic. I love how it has that dimension in the stamp. So we're going to put that on there like that. Okay, so now we've got these three pieces. So now we're going to take our, if I can grab it here. This is our card base. And again, we had a piece of white which is four inches by five. Actually, should be five and a quarter. What did I do there? Wasn't thinking. And we're going to put that, and you see how it has a nice fit all the way around. And yeah, I was having some computer issues this morning. It would let, not let me go to Facebook. It would let me go to anything else, but not Facebook. So it was really hard to post that picture for you guys. But anyway, it finally all worked. So there we go. I'm glad when technology is working. Okay, so we got the white base. Okay, and let's bring this card in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So this is why then you're going to take this piece in, in here, and we're going to now center it. So make sure you put it on your paper and center it. Yep, that looks good. And just glue one at a time. Don't remove both because then you're going to be lost as to where it goes. So we're going to put that. Make sure you put it going the right way. That looks good. So we're going to put that down. Now we can pick up the next one because now we have a guide where to put it. And now we're going to put it on here. So what I'm looking at for is here that we have kind of the same distance and of course here too that it's straight. So that looks pretty good. Is anybody creating along with me or are you just watching tonight? Okay, and then this is our plan. Now we're going to put this here on like this. And hmm, I think did I glue it? Yes, we did. We just glued it, even though it's a little bit higher. So that's what we're going to do because we have a little height here with our anchor. So we don't want to have it too high that it adds more postage. So now we're going to put that on here. Yes, so be sure to watching. Yes, that's okay because now you know how to do it and you can go back if you have any questions. So now I'm going to put the same, yep, that's what we did there. So we're going to try to have the same distance here that we did over there and make sure we have about the same here and here. Okay. And now we have our nautical card. So yes, be sure to comment so that I can enter you in the draw. I forgot to say that earlier. Good thing you guys are all doing that. Fantastic. And you can see in this one here, I added also um, one of the elements that at that time was available. So it gives you ideas of what you can do. And if I did this again, let's see if I can lift this. Maybe I can. No, I can't. I would have actually had it go the other way. Let's see. Sometimes if you remove it right away very carefully, let's see if we can. This is where our picket tool comes in handy because if you turn it around, you have a spatula. So I'm going to see if I can remove it. And if it doesn't, 
then it's going to stay there. But look, there we go. We got one. You guys ever done that? Change your mind? Sometimes things stick too much. But sometimes, sometimes we're in luck if we get it right away. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing like changing your mind. Are we allowed to change our mind sometimes? <laughs> oh boy. You know, you get one idea and then you look at it and go, hmm. So there we go. We did it. So now, see what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it this way. And now it doesn't cover up my thank you, but it goes over on that side. So there we go. Give you ideas. So even if you do that, as long as you don't wreck the paper, then you can move it. So there you go. Two different ideas, two totally different stamps, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. So there you go. And I wanted to say before we go anywhere, be sure to uh, sign up for my catalog launch, especially if you're local and in person, because I am going to show you the amazing new products in our new catalog. So you're going to be able to see and this one is one of the new products and there's going to be lots of other ones. And I have been busy working on that display and some of my team and Stamp Club members have been helping me as well. So we've got lots of exciting things to show you. And if you don't live local, I will do one uh, on the Sunday night that you can at least then see uh, at least virtually. But please do come in person if you're local on Monday. I've got it from uh, 3 o'clock to 8 p.m. And so that way you can come during the day or evening, whatever works for you. And come and enjoy the refreshments and the games and enter the prizes. And also um, we're going to have a free make and take. So be sure to sign up on the Google form. Oh, it's going to leave a spot. Um, so that I can make sure I have a make and take for you. So that's exciting. That's coming on Monday. So don't forget, mark your calendar and be sure to sign up for that. And otherwise, I'll see you then. But thank you very much. And if you have any questions, you can go to madelinescraftroom.net and you can see my calendar of events and what all is happening. And uh, my blog is also there. My blog disappeared for a while. I was trying to figure out what to do, but it is on there on the menu plan if you uh, wanted to see anything on the blog. So now you've got another card template. And if you are one of my VIP members, go on over to the VIP group. And in a few minutes, we are going to start with uh, a Zoom meeting where we can have a chat and uh, share what you've been doing and show us a uh, show and tell. So thanks very much, ladies. Bye for now. Bye-bye.